What's up guys, it's Dan here, welcome to another channel update. Today is June 27th. Uh, I had to make this before things really got, you know, out of hand, well not out of hand, but there's some things I didn't mention last time that are occurring and I need to say it just so everyone's not lost or confused. Um, well, in case you guys missed it, uh, I uploaded, um, well in the past little bit, let's just recap real quick. Uh, we did Fear 3, the playthrough, single player. A lot of people want me to do another one, like a, a, a playthrough as Fettel, or Fatel, however you say his name, I don't know. But he's the brother of Point Man. Because uh, he's a spiritual guy, he's actually dead. Spoiler alert, I apologize. Uh, but uh, he, he, um, he, he died in the first game, so if you haven't played the first game, well, you're behind on the times, and I'm sorry. But there's a certain, you know, spoiler alert time, so if you missed it, I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyways, um... You play as him, and it's different because you're not really human. You're kind of you're you're you know you're spiritual. You're you're pretty much like a, you are a spirit, and you're. It'd be interesting to see how you play as him if it if it affects the gameplay. I don't know if it does or not. Like I mean, I don't. All I know is it's like a different skin in single player. Because I'm pretty sure you get all the same stuff. I may do a brief gameplay just to see what it is, but I, there's no point in doing a full playthrough unless it completely changes the game up. And I mean, like a different story mode completely. But I don't think it does, because it is a co-op game, so they wouldn't change all that just for one thing. So that's just what, that's just my prerogative on that. I don't really see a need for that, but a lot of people want to see it. So I might just do a brief game play of Fatal or Fatal, however you say his name once again. Um, and maybe we'll just see what it's like, you know, because I don't have any interest. But regardless, um, I'll take a look at it. If it's worth checking out, I'll get some gameplay of that on base app. So, uh, what else happened? Uh, after Fear 3, I, I beat the Nicholson Electra Plating DLC for Ellie Noir. Uh, one of the, an exciting DLC, really exciting, definitely. Uh, even though it was, it was fairly good, fairly good length. Uh, I believe it was a $4 DLC, uh, which is okay, but uh, I think Naked City was 3 or something, and it's a lot longer. But regardless, this was a really good DLC, and I do recommend it. I had a lot of fun. If you don't want to check that out, it is a, it is available on uh, in my in my channel. Obviously, this I made a playlist for it and everything. And once again, I did get a perfect rating. I I mean, it's phenomenal how good I'm getting in Delhi Noir. Like I'm getting the rhythm of it, and I'm really thinking. I'm using my evidence. Um, but so you guys can use it as a guide if you really want to. That's your call. It is pretty much a five star guide, pretty much. But it is a playthrough. Because this is my first time running through that game. Or that, that DLC, excuse me. Um, but that's up there. And recently, I posted, as in like today, <laughs> earlier today, I posted uh, a 10 part gameplay of the Fear 3 multiplayer, which was actually, I wasn't expecting it to be like that. I thought it was going to be like a team deathmatch thing like it was in Fear 1. Because I never did play Fear 3 multiplayer. I just played the single player to get the story. Because I had never played Fear 2. Because I was kind of. At the time when I played Fear 1, I, I didn't like it that much, but considering I played the game incorrectly, it just didn't make sense to me. Because the Fear plot is very confusing if you don't know what's going on. But regardless, I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, now, a lot of you, like, I come back from work, and it, it literally pisses me the hell off whenever I see it. Because by now, you think it would be better. But, like, see, what happened, Part 7 and 8 didn't upload. Now, the thing, it's kind of a pet peeve of mine. Because I have to constantly keep telling people, so I want everyone to listen very carefully right now about this one thing I'm about to tell you. Whenever there's parts that are skipped, as in say, for example, with this Fear 3 multiplayer, jumps from part 6 to part 9, 7 and 8 are nowhere to be found. It's not me, okay? I will say this once and for all, I have OCD. If you guys don't know what that is, it's uh, Obsessive Compulsive Disorder. Mine is what mine is basically organization, keeping things neat and tidy, straight lines. Well, not straight lines, but like it depends what I mean. Like I can definitely see if you look over here, you can't really. But uh, uh, I don't know how to explain it. But like things like gadgets, like my electronics, my personal items, I have to have perfect, like in order. Like if you look at my PS3 and my Xbox, they're per they're like honestly I took a me I took a tape measure and I measured the distance on the shelf so they're perfectly even they're perfectly straight and everything on is perfect so I have my modem up on the left and I have my cable box on the right both of them are equal distances lined up with the TV perfectly yes that's the type of OCD I am 
Now it, it's it's not it's not that bad because like honestly, I could take like see look this is, these are just br mounting brackets they're spacers for if you're mounting your TV. I just have all my TV stand TV stuff right here still. I still haven't moved them. But see look I could honestly just like throw it about. I don't care. That's not a big deal. Like obviously it's not it doesn't belong on the floor. But I can just throw it over there. It doesn't matter because it's just my thing. But things like that presentation is everything. But let's get that out of the way. That's I'm kind of rambling here. But what that what is that all about? Well, I will never skip a part. I am never forgetful. I am making sure each time that the parts are correct, in order, and sequential. So I will never ever accidentally skip a part. In this case, parts seven and eight, I will never skip it. So if you see a missing part and it jumps, blame it on YouTube because honestly, I came back from work and it said part seven and eight failed. And honestly, that was the first time that's happened since I used to use Firefox and Internet Explorer to upload. Ever since I used, um, ever since I've been using Google Chrome, I haven't had that issue until now. But I did figure out what caused it. Sometimes my computer likes to be an asshole and update, uh, you know, do Windows updates without, you know, usually it asks you, it says, do you want to do updates? Well, I've been saying no, and when I go, it just all of a sudden does it by itself without my approval. I thought it's supposed to ask you, because, you know, I've had bad experiences with updates. One case where I, almost, where I completely corrupted my audio driver, I'm not even joking, a Windows update corrupted my audio driver. It was such a pain in the ass to get back. But anyways, um, so that's what, I, that's what happened, because... Um, and then it refreshed it and reloaded everything that I had before and it reloaded everything and the, the 7 and 8 parts failed and then it picked up on 9 and 10. That's what happened. So, unfortunately, what I, I, it's all fixed. I deleted part 9 and 10 and re-uploaded them sequentially because it kills me to have parts out of order like that. It just kills me because it's, like I said, it relates back to my OCD. It's the same type of thing. So, that's me. That's, that's, that's why. So, no one needs to ask me anymore what's going on with that. So, if you ever see a part out of proportion, don't ask me because I got a million people saying, where's this, where's that, where's that? It failed. That's always the problem. If it's out of sequential order like that, and like, like you know, it goes seven, eight are gone, and then it jumps from six to nine, so part six to nine, it's a YouTube flaw. Or some sort of internet problem or something of that nature. It's not me. Don't ask. That's the only reason. That's the only thing it's ever been ever when it fails. It fails by itself because some glitch in the thing. I don't know. That's just how it works. Okay, we got that cleared up. Good. So that's Fear 3. Fear 3 is pretty much done. Actually, it was a pretty enjoyable game. Uh, I do recommend you guys take a look at it. If not, if you don't feel comfortable buying it, at least rent it and then you can decide. Because the multiplayer was, it was entertaining and the story mode is really good. I bet I'd have a little more fun if I did it with co-op, which I might do in my spare time. But anyways, moving on, tomorrow is June 28th. And for those of you who do not know, that's when the Uncharted 3 beta comes live. It's the multiplayer beta for Uncharted 3. And Uncharted 3 is one of the one of the games I'm looking forward to the most at the moment. I just can't wait to pick up on the story of, uh, of you know, Nathan Drake and uh, Sully and uh, everyone else that's, you know, just involved in the plot. I can't wait to keep it going, you know, because, well, it's, I don't know, man. Like, I mean, Uncharted 1 was a, it was a pretty good game. Uncharted 2 kicked Uncharted 1's ass and then shoved its face in the mud. Like, it was so much better, Uncharted 2 was, over Uncharted 1. I don't know if you, if you guys have played both, trust me, it kicked its ass. Trust me. But, uh, yeah, definitely can't wait to pick that up. But the multiplayer, I actually never played any of the multiplayer. I never played Uncharted 2 multiplayer yet. So this will be kind of a new experience for me, so you have to go easy. But here's something that I laughed about. Uh, when I did my unboxing for, I want to say Infamous 2. I think Infamous 2 came with the Uncharted 3 uh, multiplayer code. Everyone's like, Dan, give me the code, please give me the code. You're, you're a PSN Plus user. So is every single other person in the world right now. Why are you guys trying to get free shit when you don't need it? Like, I mean, it's hilarious. You, you got people saying, oh, give me the code. You're a PS Plus user too. You'll get, you can download the beta for free anyway. You don't need the code either. Nobody does. The code is useless because I'm a PS PlayStation Plus user for now because of the welcome back policy with Sony. So I don't get why everyone asked me that, but that's the, that's the agenda. So we've had Fear 3, the Nicholson Electric Plate and DLC for Alain Noir, um, and tomorrow... We'll be doing the um, the uh, beta for 
Uncharted. So I, I got a couple things to do. I gotta fix my car tomorrow, actually. It's louder than a mother bitch right now. Like, it's been, like, it sounds like a tractor. It's like, every time I start it, it's just like, pretty much like doing death metal on me. It's hilarious. So, I gotta get that fixed. So I'm gonna take it in tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, so other than that, you'll be seeing Uncharted 3 uh, beta gameplay, hopefully. I might do, people suggested I do an open lobby. Like, you know, the open lobbies I do are off camera. Just have fun with, you know, play with the, the, the viewers and the fans and that sort of thing. So, if that's something you guys be interested in, let me know. Let me know what you think of the upcoming stuff. But that's what's gonna happen tomorrow. And nothing for a long time because July is a dead month. I think the next thing in July is uh, another LNY DLC. But I'll definitely keep you guys posted. There'll be another Ask Dan coming. Ask Dan Q coming up in July as well. Maybe a drunk gaming, if you're lucky, if I'm feeling it. I don't know, but we'll see. So keep your fingers crossed. Let me know what you guys think. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned tomorrow for the Uncharted 3 beta, and I'll see you later.